Guinness. Now Guinness. Carl, I really resonated with the stories that you told throughout your presentation, and it started with that very first question when he asked us, can you laugh at yourself? Others are. And how often have we had a moment in our life where something happened where we thought, oh, I hope nobody's laughing, and then you realize, oh, they are. I better start laughing right along with me. I thought it was very fascinating the way that you chose to wove and weave stories throughout, starting with childhood, very personalized storytelling, which is a great technique to use while giving speeches. And you told us a very self-deprecating joke or sense of humor there by saying, you know, I was like a Q-tip with ears. And that immediately got a chuckle out of us. And we understood the point that you were making about, you know, laugh at yourself because others might be. And here's a funny moment from my childhood. As you told the stories, you were very composed. You had great poise. You shared so much through your vocal variety and your eye contact. And you gave us another story that said, I started here in childhood, and then this happened in my family. And you showed some humor there as well. And you started talking about college. And as you progressed into adulthood, he shared with us some interesting quotes and facts from authority figures like Dr. Wayne Dyer. He told us about Parents Magazine and that, you know, a four-year-old laughs 400 times in a day. And as adults, we're lucky if we get 12 chuckles in. And that all reminds us we do need to laugh more. And we probably are the greatest source of inspiration for laughter. When you then moved into the next transition of talking about now in your adult life, that being married and you know having humor and finding ways to weave humor into your marriage and through the divorce and with your daughter, having those opportunities to find humor. That was the next point that really resonated with me and I think with others, is the point you made about finding the opportunities. And since life gives us so many opportunities, and we ourselves create so many opportunities for humor to make fun of other stories, of our own stories, very powerful connection between all of the different parts of your speech. Nice way to wrap it up by introducing the same opening question for your closing by asking, you know, can you make fun of yourself? Can you enjoy the humor? Can you laugh at yourself because others are? And through each point, you shared personal stories, you made us laugh with jokes, you shared that information from authority sources that it's not only good, it's great to laugh. Thank you, Carl. Very good.